man. Honest with you, man. She's a bad thing. Fine as hell. Thick as fuck. Oh my god. That's my baby. Caroline. Hello everyone, what's good? What's poppin'? It's your girl Caroline back again with another video. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing a get ready for me. I was getting ready for Rema's concert. First, I'm gonna be installing this hair, the star of the show. This wig is from Curly Me Hair Company. This hair was already pre-dyed by them. It is a 13 by 4 HD lace frontal. I got 30 inches, 20% density. I did pluck and bleach the wig myself, so it was customized by me, but the color was done by them. All right, now let's get into this install. First, I'm just going ahead and tinting my lace with my Maybelline Fit Me foundation. No matter if it's HD, transparent, whatever type of lace, I'm always tinting it just to get the perfect melt and match to my skin. Put that wig on and bam. I could tell this install's about to eat because just with the lace not cut, it was already looking super duper cute. So here I'm just going in and just cutting off the excess lace around my ears. And then I'm gonna go ahead and cut the lace into sections to make installing a lot easier. Working in section, guys, I promise you, just makes the lace just so much easier to work with and less intimidating. To lay down the lace, I am using my Ebon Lace Spray in the red can. This is a glueless hold, meaning like it's not like actual glue, it's safe on your edges, comes off with water, but that said, it's not like a long-term hold. At the most, I get about one to two days with this. Then I go in with my blow dryer on a warm setting with my rat tail comb and just start to push that lace down and let that glue set and gets nice and sticky. And I use the super sharp shears I recently picked up and I just kind of cut in an up and down jagged motion to get that lace off. Cutting in an up and down, up and down jagged motion just really helps the lace lay more naturally on your head. I'm also taking this time to pull out these side tabs because my sides always have the hardest time sticking so pulling down the baby hairs on the side and just pushing it into the still tacky lace spray just really helps everything stick a lot better. I'm just going to go ahead and repeat this step across the rest of the lace. I then cut the baby hairs down at the little curl area and to lay them down I'm using my Ebon, not Ebon, I'm sorry, my Eco Styler Gel. Love to use this because I feel like it gives enough hold but at the same time once the hair has set in its place I can brush it out and it'll have a nice soft look. If you guys would like a detailed baby hair tutorial, please comment down below because I've been playing with the idea of making a detailed baby hair tutorial, but I was like, do y'all care enough for me to make a detailed one on that? But if you do care, I get enough people saying they do, then I would definitely make one for y'all. Oh, oh, oh. 
my baby hairs will all swoop the way I like it I'm just using my elastic band to help me hold down my lace and to also just help the melting process do not skip this step this step is major key importante while my lace is laying down I'm gonna go ahead and start defining my curls I don't know if I can tell I'm working really fast because I definitely was running late for this concert but I'm just using a spray bottle filled with literally just water and I'm just going ahead and saturating the hair I like to make sure the hair is saturated from top to bottom and then I go in with my um, Dr. Knotts, I believe is what's called, Con Air Detangling Brush. And I just go in sections and start detangling this hair. I had to work in sections because this hair was super long and super thick. I wasn't sure what type of part I wanted to do yet with this hair, so I just brushed everything to the back. Regardless, I've learned that I like brushing the hair to the back and then once it dries, figure out the part. Something about brushing it to the back and then parting it, I just feel like it lays a lot better. It just looks more natural that way, in my opinion. But now, for now, I'm done with my hair, so I'm going to go ahead and start talking to you guys. The only reason why I'm talking voiceover-wise, because I cannot do my hair and talk. Like, I have to, it needs, I need all silence and all focus. Okay, while my hair is drying, I can go ahead and do my makeup. So I just finished <laughs> installing my wig and I'm waiting for the hair to dry. I have three hours to be ready for this. I'm just meeting my friends at um, this one bar or whatever at six, bamboo. So it's three o'clock, I'm procrastinating. Why am I procrastinating? Why am I procrastinating? Makeup makes me, doing my makeup or just getting ready, going, leaving my house makes me anxious. I have social anxiety, you know? So leaving my house makes me nervous. Like, I don't know why I'm nervous. I always just feel like I gotta look perfect. I gotta be on it. Cause when I leave my house, I gotta look my best. I already also applied some of this brow glue. This is from NYX, the, the brow gel. My brows these days have just not been like, the way I like it. I feel like my brows don't last. Like my brows be sweating off or wiping off. My brows just be moving. So I've been really trying to find products that I like to use for my eyebrows. Like I've actually gone back to starting using this Anastasia Brow Dip Pomade. And the only reason why I've gone back, I've gone back to using this pomade, cause I stopped it. Cause you know, if you know, you know, these brows, these this product is really good, high pigmented, but sometimes it can give you some very sharp scary looking eyebrows but I've gone back to using it because it is very like long lasting and has a good hold but even this has been melting off my face I don't know my makeup has just not been my favorite thing right now but I'm working through it
I saw this trick on TikTok where it's like you should to make sure they're even just like draw a light unibrow which is what I did I'm gonna definitely be concealing that imagine if I just left it like this I look cute just look but um yeah I'm gonna use some concealer to go ahead and just clean that up I've been seeing a lot of people not use concealer to clean up their brows and like I don't know I feel like I'm, I'm a concealer girl okay my camera died but the brows are on I like them they look good it's going good so far okay Whew. now I'm gonna do my eyeshadow no my eyeshadow I want to try eyeliner I watched this video on TikTok last night and the girl was like for beginners it's much better if you use just like a matte eyeshadow so I have the only eyeshadow palette I own this big old James Charles Morphe palette I know the sister James is canceled, but his palette, I bought it, so I gotta keep it. I'm sorry. Anyways, but yeah, I'm gonna use this black color and this angled eyeliner pencil. A moment of silence while I attempt this. I just want like a, you know, a little sexy little wing. Okay, I think I'm gonna keep it small, just don't lose my mind. But it's too bad. <laughs> it's the way I'm over here holding my breath. I'm nervous. Okay, I'm all right. I literally just wiped it off. It was a good attempt. Like it wasn't bad, but it wasn't the shape I was going for. I feel like, I, like that's the thing with like makeup or just anything. You have to play around with it for you to find what you like. But I just don't want to leave my house what I don't like. So I'm gonna try it again. But okay, I like that. It's more even than it normally is. So if you're a beginner like me with eyeliner, definitely try it with your black eyeshadow. But now I'm going to put on my lashes. I like to put on my lashes during this step as well because my eyes just water the heck up. I don't know what their issue is. I'm using this big old fat set of lashes I got from Amazon. I like to just get my, my lashes from Amazon because it's just way cheaper. I just get a lot at once because I'm not good at like keeping my lashes. I always just like mistakenly take them off and throw them away. So, you know, I just like to buy cheap ones from Amazon. And I also like to cut mine a little shorter and wear them as half lashes. It just gives more, I don't know, just does something for me. Mm. I just cut it in half to be honest. Put some lash glue i've learned that i like using these type of lash glue applicators for my lashes i feel like it just gets it on easier and i feel like it dries faster than like the squeeze bottle and plus how many times have you ever mistakenly squeezed a whole fat wad of glue on your lashes that shit pisses me off yeah the lashes are on yeah it's looking good i'm excited I went ahead and put on some primer. I'm gonna try this e.l.f. grip primer. I feel like I, sh I shouldn't be trying new stuff. Okay, now I have literally an hour and a half to get it together. Everything should go much faster and smoothly because my base usually doesn't take me too much time. So I'm just gonna go in with this e.l.f gripping primer I'm just trying to push it into my skin because the instructions say the instructions say pat it in so that's what I'm doing pat 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 once I realized I was in a crunch for time I stopped talking to the camera so I'm gonna be doing a voiceover for this part while I speed through this I'm going in with my elf matte concealers I use three different shades I'm gonna put them down in the description box if you're wondering I use the lightest concealers towards the inner corners of my eye and I like to use my second lightest shade to just you know the rest of my concealer you know nose bridge the rest of the under eye and I use the darkest shade for like around my lips normally I like to let my concealers sit on my face before I blend them out to let them dry down because it just gets a more fuller coverage but big mistake with the fact that I use the elf gripping primer plus these matte concealers are a bit on the drier side literally I had the hardest time blending out the concealer if you're gonna use the matte concealer and the gripping primer 
don't let your concealer sit because child i was blending my life away over here like it was so hard to get it to budge you'll even see me go in with some max fix plus to spray on my face to see that can help melt it down a little bit it worked but it just kind of made my concealer a little bit too splotchy but it's okay now i know next time don't let your concealers dry down because that gripping primer it grips okay so no need to make my concealers um, dry down especially if you're using a matte concealer but here i am just trying my best to blend 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 that concealer out i like to do my concealer before i do my foundation these days i just feel like it just i don't know it looks more natural i've been trying to go for a less cakier face once i manage to blend out the concealer i go in with my foundation the maybelline fit me in the shade 365 warm coconut and i just put that everywhere where i didn't put concealer and i just use this big fluffy brush to just you know blend all of that out and I put a little bit on my forehead I don't like to put too much makeup or foundation on my forehead because especially when I have like a frontal on the way it just sits with the lace it'll be looking right here I'm going in with extra concealer around my lip and chin area because I felt like those areas just didn't really show up too much so I'm just using that again and just reblending that out to set my concealer I'm using my Laura Mercier translucent powder I love 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 this powder this powder and the Huda Beauty powder are my two favorite setting powders. I like this one the most because like it's just so fine and lightweight and just gives it an airbrushed look and it lasts all day as well. I like to do more of a pressing in than baking, whereas like you know you put a lot of powder all at once and then you dust it off later. I like to just press in a good amount and let it blend, you know. And while that is just sitting, I'm going to go ahead and go and start contouring. I'm using my Black Radiance Contour Palette, and I'm using the, I believe it's the Medium Dark shade. And I just use that to help contour out my cheeks. And I do a little bit on my chin and just a little bit on my forehead. Please don't mind the fact I'm over here chewing like a freaking goat. I had some gum in my mouth and you know when you have gum, I just don't know how to respect myself. I forget that people can see me chewing like a billy goat, so ignore that. I'm sorry, y'all. As far as nose contouring, I don't really have much of a nose contour routine. I'm not the best when it comes to like snatching my nose. I just do a little sum sum on the side. I don't know if it does anything, but I just do a little sum sum, you know. Once I was done contouring my face, I used that same Laura Mercier powder and just set halfway underneath my cheeks. I don't like to bring my powder all the way down anymore. I realized that kind of just like drags my face down. And I also put a little powder on the tip of my nose and on my nose bridge. I started to get really bold and was like, ooh, let's do some under eyeliner just to really finish that edgy look. So I went with that same eyeshadow and just started to gently draw underneath my waterline just to, you know, you know, line out my lower lash line. And honestly, it wasn't that bad. You can see I'm over here smiling because I was like, hey, I like that. For sure, if you're a beginner, use eyeshadow versus eyeliner. It's the way to go. Here, I'm just going in with my MAC Finished Plus powder to help me just blend out everything and to wipe off that excess powder. This is my actual like skin tone shade, so it kind of just helps, you know, tone down any over light shades I got going on and I just use this to blend everything out to give one full cohesive look don't forget your neck gotta get that neck and once I was done blending out my powder I'm going in with some blush and this is the Juvia's palette blush I don't know which one it is but I'll for sure write it down below and I just like to put a little bit on my cheeks and some of my nose and then I'm going in with my Max Studio Fix setting spray and I'm just spraying my whole face to get everything nice and wet and just to help, you know, break down any cakiness, powderiness I got going on. And I'm wiping off the excess makeup on my lips. I tried something new today, which was I got my little beauty blender and pat in my face while I was still wet with the remaining powder. I don't know if I like this. I think it can make my makeup even more splotchy. I've just been trying out a lot of different techniques these days to see what I like for my makeup. But for sure, the spray did what it had to do. As far as patting it in, I don't know if I was a big fan of that. 
Now I'm just lining my lips with just a random Beauty Supply Store brown lip liner, just dark brown. And I just line my lips and I put on some pink clear lip gloss. It's like a clear lip gloss that has like a little bit of a pink undertone to it. I believe I got this from Essence. I love this versus using just a regular clear lip gloss. I feel like it just adds a little extra color without doing too much and it's still very, very subtle. Finish off the whole look, I did some bottom mascara. I did end up putting a little bit of highlighter on my nose and in the corner of my eyes, but that was off camera. Okay, makeup is done. I really like it. I feel like I look like girly. It's getting a little edge. That's what I like. I'm happy with it. Now I'm gonna do my hair. I'm just gonna do a simple middle part to finish it all off. Okay, so I've got my little middle part. I need to hurry up. I now have 30 minutes. This is why I can never have enough time to get ready. I feel like I'm about to be late. No, I'm not going to be late. You're not going to be late, Caroline. Okay, while my hair is still drying. I don't know why this hair is taking so long to dry. Like, dang. I'm going to put some concealer in my part just to make that part pop. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to go around and throw my outfit. I hope the outfit I want works out because, oh my God, I'm running late. Okay. Alright. Alright y'all. I'm gonna go get dressed really quickly and come back for like the final look and all that. Okay. Alright, here we go. Dressed, ready, bow. Have my little accessories on. I was trying to just give like, you know, a very edgy kind of look. Got my rings. I wish I had my nails done, but it's cool. She's still cute. I'm gonna have to like show you all my outfit. Let me see if I can stand up and show you guys. <laughs> all right, outfit. So I have this top on from White Fox. Cute little purse from Ego. And my jewelry. This one's from, I can't remember where I got this from. I think it's like AliExpress, Shravosky, Rings, Amazon. Here's me, even though I'm definitely running late and my Uber is downstairs, recording a quick TikTok and Instagram story because, you know, the girls got to see me give because I don't give often. I don't leave my house often, so I got to record it on camera. Anyways, we are towards the end of getting ready with me to go to the concert. Unfortunately, it rained heavily, so yeah i was drenched when i made it to the concert but that's fine i still looked cute regardless thank you guys so much for watching this video i feel like the hair was really the star of the show like this color just looks so good on my skin like it was giving i love this hair so much and the lace as you can see melted because actually as you can't see because lace wear but here i am just adding some extra mousse to the bottoms of the hair because i felt like it got super frizzy with me playing with it too much but thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed this little get ready with me sorry it was a little bit chaotic but honestly the chaotic things are the best things because isn't this look just giving it wasn't it worth the chaotic mess but i hope to see you guys in another one make sure you like comment and subscribe if you went to the Dallas concert, the Dallas Rema concert, or if you went to the Rema concert in general, comment down below. I'd like to know. But yeah, see you in another one. Peace out, Girl Scouts. Goodbye.